Who got the swag? Four with a man. Mayor Madonna, John Boy, the check. Hello, and welcome to the first episode in a series that I will be doing on this channel. Basically, briefly going over the history of various rappers. Today's episode, we're going to be getting into Benzino. Hope you guys enjoy. As far as Benzino's career goes, it all really starts in 2009. He caught the attention of Simon Dominic on the DC Tribe website. At the time, Simon D was in the Supreme Team alongside Esens. That year, he featured on a whole bunch of popular tracks such as City Life by Doki, Rocksteady by Epic High alongside Palo Alto and Beatbox DG, A Millie Freestyle by Swings, Verbal Gents Dramas of Life on the Good Die Young album, and many more. And then that brings us to 2010. This is a super important year for Benzino. He linked up again with Beatbox DG from the Epic High song and formed the Hot Clip duo, releasing a self-titled album that year. Later that year, he teamed up with producer Shimmy Twice to form Jazzy Fact. Then they dropped the Life's Like album, and as the title suggests, it introduced Benzino's signature melodic jazz rap style. And then that brings us to 2011. Benzino showed up on the critically acclaimed album Primary and the Messengers, making him a well more known artist at the time. Later that year, he joins the new label with previous collaborators, Doki and The Quiet, forming Illionaire Entertainment. In 2012, he finally drops his debut solo project. It was called 2426. And then later that year, he drops a multitude of more collabs with Illionaire. In 2013, he drops his most immensely popular song, Dolly Van Picasso, and the follow-up project, Up All Night. Dolly Van Picasso moves over 592,000 units in Korea alone. Also that year, he collabs with Lee Hyori on her album Monochrome on the song Love Radar, essentially launching him to becoming a rap superstar. And then in 2014, he collabs with Jungigo on the song Want You, which went on to sell 1 million plus units in Korea alone. Then he shows up on the Epic High album Shoebox on the song Born Hater, one of the year's most popular hip hop tracks, alongside Mino, Bobby, B.I., and Verbal Jint. In 2015, he toured as a solo artist in the US, which was a major move to cement himself as a worldwide hip hop artist, and he did a number in spreading K hip hop abroad. And then in 2016, he released his third album, 12, featuring various singles like Dolly Van Picasso and Break. He participated in the popular SM Station series in the track No Matter What alongside Boa. And he also reunited with the producer Shimmy Twice from Jazzy Fact to drop Up Up and Away for the Entourage mixtape series. Hey guys, so what you think? Uh, this is kind of an experiment, something that I've been meaning to do uh, for quite a while now and I spent a bit of time on you know writing out and doing some research on and I know it might not be the most comprehensive history of rappers but this is kind of a, a series that I want to get going uh, obviously it requires a great deal of editing and research and writing so the rollout won't be you know daily maybe not always weekly but I would like uh, to do these for a multitude of rappers so I want to know what is your thought about the format now I know it may be a little crude at times with the voiceover and my editing and as you know the episodes progress I anticipate that all of that will get better with each release so all I ask is that you please bear with me for now uh, keep all criticism uh, super constructive I would love to hear ba back from you guys uh, and then kind of cater this show to what not only I want to make but what you guys would want as well and also name some rappers down below you'd like to see me do these mini documentaries on uh, Benzino I felt like was a healthy starting point for me because he's my favorite Korean rapper he's something he's somebody that I know a decent amount already beforehand so it didn't require the most comprehensive background search on uh, and also I have a couple other people in mind uh, the next few episodes no point in keeping it a secret I t intend on uh, doing backgrounds on p-type tiger JK and verbal gent as well uh, so if you have any rappers down below and possibly Esense too I, I was uh, kind of thinking about that so if there's any rappers down below or artists that you would like me to do these little histories on 
let me know down below and uh, tell me what do you think about these types of videos this is kind of me in 2017 trying to diversify my content put more effort into it put more different kind of things for you guys and see you know how what that does for the channel uh, yeah just let me know all your thoughts down below I hope you guys liked it because I really really enjoyed doing this till next time this is JV here I love you guys bye